I want to welcome everyone to the Thinking Garden, a new project that just finished being installed at the Fairview Public School Mississauga, with uh, funding provided by the Art Gallery of Mississauga, with uh, support from the uh, Ontario Trillium Foundation. So I just wanted to do a quick video intro. I've got some photographs that you can see, <clears throat> but I thought it'd be fun to to really just sort of walk through it. The inspiration is is a meditative garden. Hopefully that's uh, somewhat obvious. It was lucky that they had sort of the foundation here because the logs and uh, and the tree <clears throat> in their meadow were already in place but underutilized. So the idea was to really sort of create a, a meditation space that they could use for outdoor classrooms uh, in the spring, summer, and fall uh, with some interactive elements. The, the project was designed to be collaborative between all the students from grade one to five. This is a K to five school. So every single student from one to five has a hand in this project. We enter the path and we come to essentially station one, as I've been calling them. And the station here is called What Do You See? And has small peepholes in it. And really, I don't know if that's gonna work. Oh, it does work. It's designed to challenge the kids to look at their own environment, to see what's really around them, not to just sort of, you know, travel through it. As an artist, we're always challenging ourselves to, to sort of really see uh, beyond the everyday and, and uh, try to really connect. Station two, and uh, by the way, so all the artwork was done as a competition between the grade three, fours, and fives, and they were each given a sketching uh, assignment, or I, I gave them essentially a call for submission asking for them to submit artwork for each station that then the whole school would be painting. And uh, so this one talks about the earth. And the, and the great statement here that one of the kids wrote is, we are all branches of the same tree and let's resolve. So we're obviously the, the thinking garden is all about thinking about the environment, our natural space, how we affect it, how it affects us. And we come to the next one, which is, is a global perspective. Nice thing about Mississauga, is that you know you've got real a great range of diversity. And it says here, do you want to help? Go green. You know, it's uh, there's a lot of rhetoric that's happening nowadays. You know, there's a lot of products that are green products. There's a lot of talk about environmental this, that, and the other. And it's really it's it's about trying to connect beyond the rhetoric and help the kids understand how the everyday makes a difference. This is the outdoor part of the sign, the outside part of the sign. And we've used chalkboard paint, so. So the black part can be written on in chalk, and of course it says welcome, and, and uh, this is sort of the, the sign sort of uh, uh, letting everyone know where they are and where they've entered. So, so the spiral, the spiral actually is 120 feet in length in total, and I'm just walking here. Sorry if it's a little shaky, I apologize. And uh, so, the, so the kids will continue in a spiral, and you know, like a meditative space, it's meant to, to help them engage the space and, and uh, be, get into the right frame of mind. Now, luckily, we had uh, two logs here already that were in, in, in place. Um, but they were just, you know, two logs that, you know, were played on before school, after school, but weren't really used. And then we added these two additional, as I call them, stadium seating. Got the high seating and the low seating. <clears throat> and the challenge, the call to submissions that I was given to the kid, call to submission to the children, to the kids of the school, was to come up with a design for a clean city and the dirty city. You know, what we really talked about here was the fact that who lives in the clean city? You know, the people that really sort of connect to their environment, the people that respect the environment, that look after the trees and, and try to reuse what they, what they have to buy. They don't buy too much stuff. And the stuff they do use, you know, if, if it has to go in the garbage, they make sure it's properly recycled. 